Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Uchi, and um, back again, once again. How y'all doing today? Okay, Mister Senor Professor Doctor, the homie of all G's, Luxton Summer. Are you ready for this reaction? Because 3.5 of the reset Pokemon theory is also back again once again see that's how you know it's a special video because if you're doing the intro twice you're special without further ado i don't gotta explain it go watch my other videos because i've been reacting to locks and stuff since like part two i think i'm pretty sure but i've been supporting since the beginning so without further ado it's reaction time I could do it with one hand. Oh! <sighs> yeah. Alright, here we go. Part 3.5 of the reset theory. Locks in, what you got? Toby, I need to get this information to you fast, so I can't give it to you in a call. There's this weird fan outside that says not Nintendo on the side. Now, <laughs> I might be crazy, but I think that's Nintendo. They are listening. I've gotten too close to the answer, so I'm just going to record my thing and then get out of here. If this is the last thing you hear from me, know that I'm probably dead. <laughs> Alright, Foundation and Ultra Beasts. First, let's recap what Aether is. It's Alright, what's up? Which is also known as Soul, Spirit Energy, Life, and even Heaven. If you put the Aether Foundation's logo over the alchemic symbol for Aether, it also lines up pretty well. And speaking of all those elements, Alola lines up with it too. We have this first island, covered in rocky canyons, it's Earth. The next one with more water than the other three, and even a waterfall, it's water. And next, with the hot springs, whatever these are, but more importantly, the active volcano, fire. And this one with constant rain from the sky, and two mountains that go above the clouds, air. Wow. And the is the, the Earth has its own aether, its own spirit energy, its own soul. And it is located in the Black Sun, which is the core of the Earth. Magma is the blood of the Earth. And volcanoes, which are extremely famous for being in Hawaii, are access points to the Earth's soul. Yo. Lights, aether. Damn. The symbol of the Earth. Just like these glowy bits on yeah, Russia and Zekrom, who supposedly helped create the Unova region. And how do you create land masses? With magma. That's crazy! Core mythology states that there was a previous earth and a previous cosmos before ours i'm done a different universe and that one ended and when it died it expanded again and gave birth to ours exactly what i've been proposing what sun and moon might do and in that hawaiian creation myth there was only one survivor from the previous universe octopi Hello? Floating around, the popular one being that they are these three. Yep. They do look related. And a side note, take a look at this symbol. <gasps> and these two undoubtedly are similar. Its movements resemble those of a young girl. And a mysterious girl that will play an important role in the story. Ob- mm -hmm. Oh my god. The pose well, Gladian does have torn up clothes, which would make sense if you hulk out all the time. <laughs> also, if you were this giant mosquito trying to fit into a small human body, you'd have Parkinson's too. All three of these people, Lily, Gladian, and Lusaman, dislike Pokemon fighting. Lily's official description states this. this Lusaman is the president of the Aether Foundation, whose goal is to help and protect Pokemon from any and every world, and Gladian is tricky, though he does state that battling him will needlessly get your Pokemon hurt, meaning he still does battle, but sees it as a necessary evil and would prefer not to when it's an option. And this goes along perfectly with his name origin. The name Gladian comes from the Gladiolus flower, which in the language of flowers, symbolizes moral integrity. Wow. A battle with her about the countless others she hurts along the way. Hmm. The greater good, you know. At least from her perspective. Right. And now, assuming these characters are the Ultra Beasts in disguise, well, that just fits all the greater. 
outlining UB02 Beauty's hair in any way makes this, which is the symbol of the great mother goddess, the Yoni. Various ancients had various versions of what? the Yoni would pass others through the statues to symbolize baptismal rebirth. They would be spiritually born. Yo! And while we are here, Faba and Wicca both get their names from the Visia. Wick! Visia my girl. is a genus of flowering plants that can also produce beans when you specify the Faba order. The Vetch symbolize fidelity or unwavering loyalty and faith into another, usually a leader or a spouse. And the faba beans have a unique history. They were one of the very first plants cultivated by humans. And eventually, among other beans and plants, became a staple of early Middle Eastern farming. The plants would grow a white and purple flower that would turn into green beans, and then would turn into a dark reddish maroony color. What gets really interesting, though, is that these beans are toxic to most of the animal kingdom, Humans are one of a few beings that are capable of eating it. And this is because of a toxin known as leucoagglutinin, which looks like this. Oh my god! That's the- oh! Maybe that's a stretch. Maybe not. That's a str not the Aether what? Foundation is a danger. Choices of the Aether Foundation, they are choosing similar colors and design elements to Arceus, white and gold with spiky bits and such. I did why didn't I notice that? What if the reason I'm a freaking idiot is what if they are mainly after the starter Pokemon to make their own Arceus? More on that later. Dominating invasive species. The mosquito is the deadliest animal on the globe. And they are everywhere. Yeah, they suck. And now, what is the opposite of a globe-dominating invasive species? A very endangered species losing habitat. What if I told you that this is what the starters are based on? Now, I know what you're thinking. A sea lion that Rowlet is based on the Pueo, a Hawaiian owl that is indeed endangered. Next, we have the Hawaiian monk seal. One of two mammals endemic to Hawaii and also very endangered. Wow. And I know Pablio is a sea lion, not a seal, but Squirtle goes from being a turtle to a tortoise. A sea lion can evolve into a seal. Ha! Lynn, then, yeah. Then the Iremota cat, which look very much like house cats, hence Linton's design. But they are not house cats. They are, in fact, critically endangered mini leopards. And huh. lastly, Rockruff. It could be based on the Hawaiian poi dog which is often associated with rocks and the ground as it likes digging and eating taro roots. This specific breed of dog is actually extinct today, and all of these animals are endangered what? due to human involvement, loss of habitat due to humans taking it over, or humans interbreeding it to the point of extinction. In Pokemon, wow. we could draw a similar conclusion. No, which, as we've established, is made up of the starters and rock. Yes. And by the way, Type Null without the Arceus symbol helmet becomes Silvalli, or Silvalli, with its RKS system. Yeah! Multiple types, depending on the item it holds. Exactly like Arceus. RKS. Not to mention it's white. You'd be hard-pressed to say that Type Null is not an attempt at creating Arceus. And by the way, that symbol on Type Null's helmet breaking off and revealing its true power I'm sure is also a prelude to what will happen in the Gen 4 remakes, as Arceus breaks free of its own binding that it may have put on itself. Don't want to sneeze and accidentally destroy the universe or anything. But if there is a threat to the universe ending, it has every reason to take it off. As primal Arceus. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready! From the front of it, and remember... The Arceus is the border between our world and the Aether above, meaning the Aether Foundation is above Arceus. And if the Aether Foundation are indeed the Ultra Beasts, then that is potentially true. Arceus is only the god figure within this Pokemon universe. That doesn't exactly apply to whatever universe the Ultra Beasts come from. Now, you gotta a, be kidding me! Don't have this, parallel. this is crazy. They're extremely disturbing process. Uh, it states that the end product 
will look somewhat like a man, but transparent. As well as that it may not have full consciousness and instead run on instinct. Just as UB01's description states. This may be why Ultra Beast 01 is said to be the most important out of all of them. It's artificial life, a homunculus, created by the other Ultra Beasts or the Aether Foundation, which may not even have a distinction. <laughs> but why would the Aether Foundation want to create life? The Aether Foundation wants to take all of these Pokemon back to their universe, or reset the universe in order to spare all of these Pokemon from the pain brought by battling. This sounds like a similar goal to Team Plasma, who wanted to make a separate world to separate humans and Pokemon. Team Plasma planned to steal everyone's Pokemon and take them to their new world, but later they were defeated, but... But Colrez, the scientist of Team Plasma, he was different. He wasn't with Team Plasma to help them separate people and Pokemon. He was with them for funding his own research and bringing out the power of Pokemon. He is quoted as saying, Team Plasma said we should recognize the potential in Pokemon and liberate them from humans. I disagree. Conversely, it should be humans who bring out the hidden potential in Pokemon. What I desire is to allow humans and Pokemon to directly communicate. So, Z-Moves and the Speaking Rotom Pokedex. Is Colrass going to be in Sun and Moon? Yo! He was in Kalos in X and Y too, as an NPC mentions him. And if we look at Colrass's book, is that the Z-Stone symbol? And suns and moons? Colrez does also have these diamonds on his outfit, and is blue, meaning the four primary members of the Aether Foundation are red, blue, green, and yellow. The four Gen 1 games. But then, would that make him an Ultra Beast too? No way! Lava and Wick even Ultra Beasts? If they are, then that means there's six of them. Side note. Side note. If there just so happens to be seven confirmed Ultra Beasts, I'll go crazy for sure. Why? The seven angels of Revelation. Aether is heaven, after all, where God and angels reside, but that's just a side note and a hunch. Not that important unless it ends up being true, seven of them. It doesn't need to happen, but if it does, huh. And of course, the day before I initially planned on uploading this video, data mining has revealed that there are indeed seven Ultra Beasts. But wait, you say, I, there are eight. I have eyes, I can see that there are eight. And yes, maybe you'll consider this a leap in logic, but listen, there are two different ways we could make this eight into seven. Firstly, there are two UB02s, meaning if you were to label all of these, you would have one, two, another two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each UB02 is exclusive to sun or moon, meaning in either sun or moon there are only seven. Another way you could think of it is, if all of these are Ultra Chimeras, and UB01 is actually a homunculus, artificial life, then that means initially there were seven Ultra Beasts, until, during or slightly before the events in Sun and Moon, they created artificial life in UB01. UB01 just happens to have been the first one discovered by the Aether Foundation. Quotes all around that. Now back to the real stuff. So the Aether Foundation is doing a good job at deceiving everybody, right? Uh -huh. Everybody sees them as the good guys. Their goal is to save and protect Pokemon from many worlds. But really, in this real world, we all know that they are very likely going to be the bad guys. Why else would they have grunts? And also, oh. designed vaguely off of Arceus, Poke God. Hmm. Just like last time, let's dive into the Bible. In oh the God. Mark, Jesus explains more signs of the end times, and he says that when the end is near, many will come in his name and deceive the world. Perhaps, to further deceive the world, the Aether Foundation tried to create their own Arceus to say that, yeah, we're on Arceus's good side, see, he's here with us. But of course, they fail, which also causes Gladian to leave. Oh yeah. Full on speculation here, but I'm pretty sure Gladian was a member of the Aether Foundation. But since his flower name suggests that he has a high sense of moral integrity, he decided that all of this evil experimentation on Pokemon is wrong, and ultimately, so is the Aether Foundation. 
So he steals away Type Null out of pity for its suffering and joins Team Skull, another team that has the power to potentially take down the Aether Foundation. This is it's too real! Yeah, it's one universe, here is another. In fact, there's a bunch of them. Infinite, like a bunch of bubbles. The borders around the universe are the Arceus, but all that space in between the universes, that could be the Aether, Heaven, the spirit world, where Ultra Beasts reside. It's just a possibility. Oh, Toby, you're calling me now. Haha! <laughs> that van's getting too close. Next time. A new day! God. Dude. Where have you been? Did you see? Did you hear? Did you feel? Yo, I'm like. In the world you win. I can't wait. Magirna Type no Oh If that battle happens yo this theory part three point eight What is this turning into Kingdom Hearts? Listen here. I was about to say that too. Oh Loxton That was I'm like speechless. Like, you, you, you sucked the reaction out of me. Completely. Like, I'm just, I'm just, all here is just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, wonderful job. Wonderful job. Finding more stuff. Man, every time, every time I think there, there's nothing really more to, to, to even dig, he just, keep on digging. The fact that there's a 3.8, yo. <laughs> uh, I can't wait till this game comes out. This game is like overdue by this time. I mean, like he said, Nintendo is watching him. He figured the game out. I, I might be calling it the reset theory just for the sake of what it's called. This ain't no theory. This is what's gonna happen. This is the foundation, the blueprint. It all comes together in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. What do you guys think about part 3.5? Are y'all looking forward to 3.8? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter. Tell me what y'all thought. I thought it was great. We got more info. I am really I really now believe that the Ether Foundation is really the evil the evil squad. Like Loxon just proved it. The Ultra Beasts proved it like being like above Arceus like I really hope Arceus when he breaks that oh, man, I want to see Arceus my man goes super Arceus but either way I'll see y'all next time